With the recent boom of artificial intelligence, some Web3 developers are abandoning ship and turn to AI. Traitors, that's what I call them. But are they smart traitors? For your tech career, is it a good idea to abandon Web3 for AI? That's what we will see in this video. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat The Blocks, I help you to become a Web3 expert so that you can make more money, get more freedom and work on projects that you love. And if you have been living under a rock, here's what's happening with AI. So last year in 2022, a new AI tool called ChatGPT was released. And the tech community was very impressed and it triggered a rush into AI. Everybody saw that it was a complete revolution. At the same time, bad news started to accumulate for crypto, culminating with the falling grace of SBF, the least altruistic member of the effective altruism community who also happened to be the ex-CEO of FTX. And when you see these two trends, it's easy to understand why some Web3 developers decided to abandon Web3 and switch to AI. But if you decide to go to AI, what are you going to do exactly? There are three ways to get into AI as a developer, so let's check it out. The first option is to work on the AI technology itself. So I'm talking of developers who build the AI infrastructure, the low-level stuff the APIs that other developers will use. For example, it can be an API that lets you use a model that was already trained, like the ChatGPT API, or an API that allows you to train a model, but it already does a lot of heavy lifting, like some APIs of AWS or Microsoft. This kind of work is super difficult and you need to be very, very talented. So it's not something that you can just pick up in a weekend with a Udemy course. And we don't need that many developers to do this. There are only a few companies that built this kind of AI infrastructure and that's because it's very difficult, it's very expensive, and once it's built, it can be used by many. So most developers will use this infrastructure but will not build it. So if you get into AI, it's very unlikely that you end up doing that kind of work. But there are other possibilities. So the next option for getting into AI is to build applications that use AI for certain features. For for example, Levels IO, a famous maker, created several AI powered apps like this app that can create AI avatar from an existing picture, or these other apps that can generate ideas for internal design in your home. And what's interesting is that you don't need to be an AI expert to build that kind of application because all you need to do is just to use an AI API and to show the result in the front end. So, in terms of knowledge, you just need to know how to build a regular web application, how to use an API, and that's it. And in fact, this kind of app doesn't even need to be centered around AI. It's just that for some features, you will use AI and the end user doesn't even need to know. And with this in mind, it's easy to see how you could combine AI with Web3. When you build a Web3 application, you can also add some AI features using some AI API completely separated from the blockchain. And next, there is yet another way of getting into AI, and this is by using AI as a tool to improve your productivity as a developer. I'm talking of tools like ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot. You can use this tool as a better stack overflow and as an assistant to help you refactor your code and find bugs. This is pretty impressive and some developers are even afraid to lose their job. These tools are powerful, but not powerful enough to threaten you. At the moment, they can probably replace some very junior developers, but that's it. You still need a developer to check that the code is correct and to put together the different pieces of the puzzle. And in the context of Web3, we have an extra problem. I'm talking of smart contract security. With all the money involved in a smart contract, who would trust the code generated by ChatGPT for the smart contract? You need a human to check that everything is correct and has no security vulnerabilities. So what is the answer to the question, should you abandon Web3 for AI? And this is the wrong question. AI is a tool that is going to be used in many niches to make apps more powerful and developers more productive. But it's not really something that you can get into independently of all the rest. So the better question is, should you use AI as a Web3 developer? And the answer is yes. And for that, you can learn about the AI API that you can use to add AI features to your Web3 applications. 
And you should also learn about ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot so that you can become a more efficient developer. And beside this, keep in mind that Web3 still has a bright future. Ignore the sensationalist mainstream media. Ignore the price action. All of this is short term. It's just noise. It's just not relevant. What is relevant is what the big companies are doing. And the big companies are getting into crypto big time in 2023. And to learn more about this, check out this video. It's going to motivate you. That's it for today. Bye.